Okay, everyone, I'm so excited because I'm joined by Marielle, John, and Aaliyah talking all about The Watchful Eye, which is on Freeform and Hulu. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. Hey, we're good. How are you? Good. I'm excited to talk to you guys. I absolutely love the show. And Marielle, what I really love about the show is one moment, it feels like you got these mystery detective scenes happening, and then there's like these horror sequences that are great. What did you have more fun filming on set? Ooh. the scenes where I was alone, you know, filming these thriller sequences with these horror aspects were probably the most challenging because, you know, a lot of what we do is uh, edited in post. And so a lot of the times you're reacting to things and sounds and people that aren't there. And so that takes a lot of imagination and it's also a technical thing. And so that was really challenging because I'd never done a thriller before. And a lot of it has to do with the set and the camera and the movement. And so I think that was something that I learned so much about and at the same time was really challenging, but what was incredible was working with those sets and the interior of the Greyborn and just kind of like the overall eeriness of the sets that we got to work with. I think that uh, the art department did such an incredible job in really creating this character that is the Greyborn. So that was, that was really, really fun. Yeah, and that's cool. You mentioned, I did not know it was your first thriller. It doesn't seem like it. you do such a good job and it's exciting. Excited for people to see those sequences. Really mm, good stuff. And then- you. John, Scott will do anything to get this ruby. Why do you think he's so hell-bent on wanting the fortune that comes with it? How are you reading that? Well, I think wanting a fortune, I think we can all understand, you know, money, money, <laughs> nice thing to have. Um, so there's that. There, there's some other um, behind the scenes motivations that get, uh, I guess, uncovered as the mm. uh, series goes on that you'll find out about. So it's not just the money aspect driving him. There's some mm. revenge and some other kind of family stuff going on but you gotta you gotta watch into the series a few more episodes to find out about that no that's a good answer and good hook because like yeah that's what i love about the character scott he's so layered and a lot of mysteries to him so and you do a great job at it and then it. um alia it feels like you and mariel just like have so much fun together in your scenes did you guys gel from the start because it shows on screen but did you guys like click right away when you guys start working together yes <laughs> <laughs> happy um yeah this is you know, this is our job. So, uh, you know, just as just as you have work mates and, and colleagues in any other situation, sometimes it just it remains a professional relationship. But immediately upon meeting Mariela, I was already so enamored by her um, and and felt so deeply for her. Our first conversation was so deep, <laughs> and very um, deep. It was so deep, and I think just from there on, it just developed so effortlessly and I'm so happy that that translates to screen uh you know I think Ginny and Elena's relationship is is much more complicated uh because they are blurring the line between between professional and personal relationship mm. um and I think just as Ginny gets closer to Elena uh things are just gonna get much much trickier uh for the two of them to navigate together yeah and, and I'm glad to hear that you had just as fun doing as it looks and it's going to be interesting for people to see because it's a really good relationship on the show. And I think that's something that wants me to keep coming back to it. Now, um, Marielle, I absolutely love, I'm jealous that you have one blue eye and one brown eye. And oh. I, I love that the show mentions it though and embraces it. So in your career overall with that, have you felt like it's given you a kind of an edge and kind of embracing that? Actually, no. I've actually had projects in the past where people have suggested that I put on a contact lens mm. to kind of like make it the same color. Mm. I I had a co-star once that said that it was too distracting to look at me. Wow. Yeah. So it's actually been kind of the opposite. And what's so great about that scene, and I'm glad that you pointed that out, is that um, actually that was a conversation that I had with our showrunner, Emily, 
when we were talking about my eyes and they were like, yeah, it's just like David Bowie. And I was like, well, actually David Bowie got punched over a girl and that Mm. affected his cornea. And then I come to find out that they put that in the script and it was kind of like a wink, wink, nod, nod, literally a wink. Um, And that was really cool. And I think, you know, it is something that is very specific about me. I remember growing up, I thought it was like very weird because Mm. I saw people with the same colored eyes, but I loved it. I, I, I love it. I always say I'm like a mutant, you know? Yo, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that's so cool and that you embrace it. And I'm actually jealous of it. So really cool. And uh yeah, that's you can interesting. borrow them whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get another contact just to get with that down. <laughs> I got one blue, so that's a start. Um there you go. so John, question for you. Are you a watch on live free form type of guy or watch next day on Hulu type of guy? Oh, I'm I'm definitely next day on Hulu kind of person. <laughs> I, it's, it's it's hard for me to keep track of time and to sit down at a specific I, I guess it depends on the time it it doesn't it's not going to air until 10 so that's late enough that I'm I'll be winding down by then but I so I could watch it but I've definitely become spoiled with the on demand aspect of streaming yeah what do you sure. mean 10 is way past your bedtime john <laughs> there is that but I don't want to go into that but well <laughs> you know it depends i guess on if 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 you're on the west coast and you can stream east coast then you could watch it 3 hours early Mm-hmm. And I'll probably get some time central time. I can watch the East Coast stream. So I'll get it at nine, which is still nice. Cool. right in time for bed. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. And I like you got all figured out, too. And yeah, that's what's really cool. I like that there's both options for this show. And then my last question is for Aaliyah. When you just read this script, what was it about your character that you wanted to make sure you like got down right? Like what spoke to you about the character that you want to make sure that like you presented? I wanted to make sure that, uh, I mean, at least in, in the audience's perspective, that uh, every part of Ginny feels real, feels true, and feels honest. Uh, that way you never know what's coming next. I'm kidding. Um, but just, <laughs> just just because I, you know, I wanted her to be someone that everyone can relate to and take a piece of or, or see a part of them themselves in. And I, and I think characters like that really help anchor shows and and help uh, people feel very connected. Yeah, for sure. And you totally nail it and bring that to the screen. And I'm excited for everybody to watch the show. So you can watch The Watchful Eye on Freeform and Next Day on Hulu. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I hope to talk to you in the future. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you for your time.